talk about bleeding. <laughs> you heard me right. Hi, I'm Hadass, and welcome to Tip Talk. In this episode, I'd like to show you how to prepare your design for printing and what does that have to do with bleeding. Let's go ahead and see. In this episode, I'd like to show you how to prepare your design for print, whether you are printing at home, in your office, or using a professional printer provider. I have this Canva template that I want to print as a poster. The first thing I need to do is go to the File menu, click on that, and here you will see the Show Margins option. Let's click on that, and once you do, you see this dashed frame in the middle of your design. Let me just zoom in a little. Here you see this frame. This is not something that is going to appear on your design, but what it does is it shows you your safe area for text. You want your text to be within this frame. Anything outside this margin might be too risky for your text. It doesn't matter if your elements or photos are outside this margin, but you do want to keep your text safe. So make any adjustments you need and then the second part would be go back to file and click on show print bleed. What this does, it adds a second dashed frame. Let me zoom in again. And what a print bleed means is that this is a safety margin that ensures that there are no white borders in your design. So what Canva does, once you click on the print bleed, it extends your background just a little bit to keep you safe. Let me just show you if I undo this and let me zoom in a little. Let's take one of the corners just so you can see how it extends. Okay, now take a look here. I'm just going to click once again on show print bleed and you see how the background is a little bit extended. So if you have a colored background or a photo background, it will still show when it's printed. Now the third very important part that you want to do is once you go to download and pick your file type, you'll notice you have two different types of PDF. You will always want to use the PDF print for print. There are two reasons for that. The first one is that PDF print will download your design in the highest resolution with 300 dpi, while the PDF standard will only have 96 dpi. The second thing would be that once you click on PDF print, you have this crop marks and bleed option that you want to check mark. Once you click on that and download your design, your design is ready to be printed. Let me show you exactly what it means. Here's my PDF for print file. You can see that I have this little crop marks in the corners and a very thin white border. Don't worry, these two are not going to show up on your design. This is just for your printer's use. So now you know exactly where your design will be cut. And that's it, you're good to go. Two important things that I would like to mention. The print bleed dimensions are fixed. You cannot adjust them. So I suggest you check with your printer provider beforehand if they have any specific requests for their bleed and crop marks. If they do, you can always go to the custom dimensions and open a new custom sized design that includes these bleed margins. If you do that, you do not need to go to the file menu and show print bleed because you already have those print bleed dimensions. One more tip from me, after sending your design to your printer provider, always check with them that everything is okay and good to go for printing. That's it. Thank you very much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this episode and I'll see you all in the next tip talk. Bye bye. Wow, thank you Adas for these precious tips and thank you for watching this video until the end. I have two playlists right here for those of you who want to go a bit deeper and keep learning. This one right here is a collection of step-by-step -step Canva tutorials and this one gathers all of our Canva Space webinar recordings where Canva experts teach about all sorts of topics.